So yesterday, Ed Hartwell's auntie posted on Keisha Knight Pulliam's Instagram, nothing happened to your sneaky ass. All of a sudden, you cook up this story of Ed doing and saying horrible things to you and trying to cause a miscarriage. Ooh, why the f*** are you on TV doing interviews and all this extra stuff if that was the case and not one mention of it? Even the day you all slit, you said he left the house and called you. Not one mention of a foul word or argument between the two of you. I hope they don't fall for your foolishness. Sound like you didn't get the sympathy you were dying for from that interview and had to cook up a BS story. Just move on with your life. This relationship was doomed from the jump. Best of luck finding the next man. You should have done right by T. It's no one's fault but your own. You sat around and waited till 37 to have a failed marriage and become nothing but an old baby mama. Ed Hartwell's aunt is referring to some very serious allegations that Keisha Knight Pulliam made against Ed Hartwell. Basically, in her uh, document, Keisha Knight Pulliam is claiming that Ed Hartwell has been plotting to harm and obstruct her pregnancy. Now, she get, didn't get into details as to exactly how, like she didn't give any examples of exactly how, but that was my first thought when he filed for divorce and the paternity test while she was still pregnant. My first thought was to wonder if he was trying to cause her to be so stressed out that she had a miscarriage. She's accusing him of cruel treatment that has adversely affected her pregnancy. And she says that he was constantly yelling and demeaning her. And that in addition to the verbal abuse, he also had affairs with multiple women, including a mother of his child. And so Keisha Knight Pulliam is requesting that the firearms that the two own be turned over to her. And she's also requesting a mental evaluation of Ed Hartwell. So if you want to know why Ed Hartwell's aunt went off on Keisha Knight Pulliam like that, that is the reason why. It's not because she did the interview on Entertainment Tonight. It's because of the very serious allegations that she made against Ed Hartwell in the court documents that are a part of their divorce proceedings. And in my opinion, Keisha Knight Pulliam's allegations may very well be true. Um, Ed Hartwell has already shown that he doesn't care about Keisha Knight Pulliam by doing everything so publicly, like filing for divorce and questioning the paternity of the child. So for him to, for her to say that he was verbally abusive, to me, that's easy for me to believe. And for her to request a mental evaluation, I can also see why she would want that because it seems that he has a narcissistic personality and all he cares about is himself. And as far as his aunt, I understand her being upset about what's being said about her nephew, but she didn't live day in and day out with Ed Hartwell and Keisha Knight Pulliam, so she can't say what did or did not happen in that house.